credit for it. <laughs> um, so you guys kind of had, you know, the invitation for this meeting, you saw things that I kind of, they're, they're, they're really kind of basic and then we'll kind of see where everybody's at. And I thought, um, so is there anything else you want to add to that? Anything else you want to see? Whatever you got. Whatever we got. All right. Well, as we go along, just let me know if you have questions. Um, so I thought that, you know, everybody's in a different spot, just kind of like when you teach a class, everybody's a different spot. So let's do it this way. If I suggest to show you something and you're like, huh, um, let's see, how do we do this? I'm going to ask you, I'm going to tell you what it is. I'm going to ask you ahead of time if you want me to, uh, if you already know it, let's do it that way. And if you already know it, just kind of raise your hand. And if there's even one hand down, I'll show it. <laughs> okay. Um, so for instance, um, and I'm going to kind of go back and forth. Um, let's see, which you show in my iPad. The first thing I thought is, um, now remember the rules. <laughs> How about the whole, um, uh, like how you manipulate, how you find your way around the iPad. Like if you double click the home button, are we all okay with double clicking the home button? Okay. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to show you and I'll just kind of start to go. These won't take very long. Let's see. I want to share my screen and I'm thinking, Barb, you tell me if you can see, uh, see the image of me when I share my iPad. Do you still see me on the iPad? Okay, you off in the corner. Good. That's what I was hoping. You still see me off in the corner? Oops, I'm trying to. There. Still see me off in the corner? No. Okay. Yeah. All right. So here's the deal with the, they call this little circle the home button. And if I double click the home button, okay, if you click twice fast, Okay, what it does is it brings up a history of what you had open. So this is kind of fun. So I can like kind of scroll. This is all the stuff that I had open just recently. I'm checking the weather because I want to go out and watch the solar eclipse here later. Okay. The other thing is while you're kind of in this sort of seeing what you did sort of mode, if you ever want to close anything, then what you do is you take your finger and you swipe up and that closes it. Any questions? Can you guys see me? Swipe up. Does that make sense? I can't see you guys. So yes or no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right. And actually, Bruce uh, said he he read recently that you know you might think, well, should I be closing these? You know, do they take a lot of space, and are they are they using up my battery? And Bruce told me recently. He's so wise. He said that. Um, that he read that actually closing them out, swiping them up and stopping them takes more energy than the other, than just letting them go. Okay. No. I didn't know that. that I, I know. It was draining your battery more by leaving them open. I know. That's what I thought too. But the other thing, I uh, guess what I'm thinking of it, if you have an app that seems stalled out, what my first thing to do is like if you have your computer and it's being screwy, you shut down your computer. If your app is stalled out, you shut down the app and you try to open it up again. Does that make sense? Okay, and the app that you just got rid of, where where'd you come up with that at? The weather and Burlington and all. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of this mode. I'm gonna click the home button again. Sorry. Okay. And actually, that's kind of on my list of things to, um, it's kind of on my list of things to talk about. Do you see this weather button up here? I click my weather and those are an assortment of apps for the weather. Was that your, your question, Deb? Okay. Okay. And where are those located? Yeah, gotcha. Okay, so um, these weather apps, there's there's a couple of ways to find your apps. And actually, David Yuri, everybody knows David Yuri, maybe, maybe not. But his favorite way to find the apps was through Safari. So I'm going to click Safari down here, okay? And it's going to go to the internet, right? So if if you want a weather app, 
you know, you might start with the internet and searching for weather or iPad apps weather. Let's see if it'll And the cool thing about Safari, let's see, what did I say? iPad app for the weather. Okay, the cool thing about Safari is once you're doing it on your iPad, it will, um, if you see something you like, then it will automatically go to the store. You can search in the store, but you get reviews and such here. So for instance, um, I don't have Yahoo Weather. I've got all sorts of weather apps. <laughs> um, I don't have this one. And I can see from the bottom there, see when I clicked on that, actually it took me, I don't know if you recognize, but we are in the iPad store now, or the Apple store. Okay, I see that. Yeah, so I use Safari to kind of hone in on the app you're after. So now you guys know I can click free and install. Um, but, okay. Yeah. So one of the other things I wanted to kind of talk about, oh, did you see that? Let's see. Um, is that um, some of you guys already know this, but they have the funnest gestures. So um, for instance, I'm going to open up something. I'll go ahead and open up the weather since we're all morbidly curious about the weather. It's funny because some of these are optimistic, some of these are pessimistic. Um, so let's just say you have any app open. Let's see what the hourly forecast is. Ugh. Come on, come on, it's clear skies. And let's say you're done with this app. You can click the home button to get out, but you can also use hand gestures. And, and I think by default that allowing hand gestures is allowed in your settings under general but so what you do is you have all fingers contacted it's funny to see Carl try to do this <laughs> okay all fingers contacted and you just you just squeeze it down okay see that isn't that adorable and it like goes into oblivion and it closed my app okay I know one other thing with regard to hand gestures is that, um, and it's kind of similar to clicking the home button, let's just say I wanted to go back to the last thing I had open. And just like in a PC world, sometimes you want to kind of go back and forth between um, programs. Well, you can just simply take your fingers and do a swipe like that. Oh, that's what I had open last time. Uh, that's where we're going uh, this weekend. And so I can go back to, oh, it's not doing it. That's right. This is a bad app because actually this app, there it goes. I had to kind of, that app had a swipe too, but it should work this time. Now I'm kind of swiping backwards. This is historically what I recently had open. Are there any questions? Isn't this adorable? And um, it kind of gets stalls out sometimes. But the other thing is, if you want to go the other way, you can too. So I'm gonna open this. Now I'm gonna go back. I don't know if it'll do it. kind of reset, but you can go back and forth and see Dos Aries trying to open, so it's kind of mad, but, okay. Does that work for you? So hand gestures, closing it and swiping left and right. I have a question. Um, it must be something I did last week, but every time I log in now and then when I'm on the computer, it keeps popping up for me to sign into iCloud. I missed that last part. When you, it pop, what pops up? Sign into iCloud. It just keeps coming up on my iPad now. I, I got keeps coming up on my iPad, but I'm still not hearing the. iCloud. Oh, the iCloud is, is coming up on your iPad and you don't want it to. Well, yeah, it's coming up all the time for me to sign in. And I don't have an account. Oh. <laughs> Um, you know, that happened to me, but uh, that was when I changed my um, iCloud account password and it only resolved itself, it kept bugging me like it bugs you, it only resolved itself when I said, okay, fine, here's my new password. Okay. So, I'm afraid, um, is it a, is it a, a iPad you have checked out or? Uh, no, it's mine from work. I guess it says enter your Apple ID, so I guess I could do that when I figure out what that is, and maybe it'll go away. Yeah. I've been 
become something that made it decide it wanted to come up all the time? I think that that's the iPad's going to keep bugging you <laughs> until you you give it what it wants. Then and, and the iCloud, it actually it's just trying to look out for you because like we talked about uh, one other time with saving stuff to the cloud, it wants to say, hey, I don't want you to lose all this stuff. So on so related to apps, if you add an app, I think it'll. I don't think actually it will let you add an app because you go through the store and the store needs to know your ID. So, yep, I think <laughs> you're stuck. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to uh, see, and I can't see your faces whether you're you know already how to do this, but um, if you want to do a screenshot and let's see what would be a good. Um, I don't know. I'll just I'll click on my news and I'll just say I want a screenshot of that. Now probably you may already know this, but what you do is you need to click two things. So I'm going to click the home button we've been talking about. And then opposite the home button over here is the, I'm not sure what that button is, but there's a soft button over here and then the home button. And so if I click them at the same time, you're going to see the display do kind of a that. So then I'm going to sh show you where this went. So I'm going to click anywhere to get it. And then if you see the photos, that's where that picture went. So I'm going to open this up. Okay. And then I'm going to open this up. Okay. So that's the thing I just took. And then with screenshots, a lot of times you want to crop it. So if you click the edit button, Okay, now you see kind of the square over there with kind of tabs on it. You click that square, now you have uh, positionable uh, things. So actually, I only wanted the apps that were in there. Okay, and actually, sometimes this is a practical thing. If you want to share um, your apps, okay, I cropped it. And then if I say done, okay, it went ahead and saved my cropped image. And I think we talked about that before. We all good with that? And then something I think we talked about before too, you can hit that, that little paper with an arrow and you have all sorts of options to do with that picture. Any questions? Yes, I should do, any questions? No? no? Okay. Um, Okay, so another thing I'm going to get out of this is, and I think I mentioned this before, if you want to delete an app, it doesn't go away permanently. If you're logged in and it's backing up your iPad, it's still in the cloud for you. So my daughter showed me this, you know, a while back, but say I want to delete that path input, I can actually hold my finger on it, and I can hold my finger on any of them, and you see how they're all wiggling with a little X there? So I click that X path input and it says, are you sure? And I say, yeah. Okay. I think I mentioned before that um, this is a way if your iPad's getting full to go ahead and delete things, you may want that again. Is that okay? Will you please repeat that? What's that? You're cutting out. Uh, I'm cutting out? You're cutting out too. <laughs> um, is it any better? Yeah. I think it's bandwidth kind of coming and going, maybe. Is can, you it... tell us, can you tell us again how to get the app back once you delete it? Sure. Okay, so I'm going to stop the wiggling because everything with an X I can delete. So to stop it, I hit the home button. Oh, well, that's probably good. <laughs> <laughs> So what I deleted was path input, and this actually is a good thing to try to do. So try to do. So I'm going to go to the app, app store down here, and I'm going to search for the app I deleted, path input, search. And do you see the one I deleted up there? Good. But it's different. It doesn't say free. It has a cloud, which, like I was saying, means that um, 
hey, you already downloaded this. And honestly, we talked about, um, it, I don't have to put in my information again because it already knows me. Okay, does that make sense? Yep, it's loading back. So I'm gonna get out of here and we'll see that it appeared. Okay, oh, there it is, installing. Can you show them how you got those folders? That, that's on my list, yay. <laughs> um, so the, I love the folders. Um, so let's just say I want to make a folder with Montage Light and Montage. So to start a new folder that doesn't exist, I just need two to combine. So I'm gonna put my finger on one of them and they're gonna start to wiggle, I think. You know, like deleting it, right? but I'm going to move one over and put it on the other one. And I have, I will be creating a folder. Is that not cool? I love it. And it's just so nice to be able to organize things. But notice it's, I don't want photography. I'm gonna call it new folder. So I clicked on the X button up there and I say, no, I want the folder called new folder. And then done. They're still wiggling and they'll do that until I, I've been hitting the home button to kind of say stop wiggling. And then when I click out here, I have my new folder. And you would just do the same to get them out of the folder? Exactly. And so um, before I show you that, let's do the pick, play, post. Let's put that in the new folder. So I'm gonna hold my finger down so it wiggles and then I'm gonna drag it and put it. Sometimes they have a mind of their own. <laughs> they get slippery. <laughs> but you can see it, it's the third one now, a new folder. Okay, so I'm gonna click the home button so they stop wiggling. And now like you said, let's just say I wanna get it out, break it out of jail. Okay, I can go ahead and make them start to wiggle. And if I want montage out of my new folder, I just click it outside. Oh, did you see where it went? Dang it. Come back here. It went in my remote. Okay. They like to jump in folders. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Good. So here's one thing though. Let me go to a folder where I have um, multiple stuff. I'm gonna stop the clicking. What it makes me dizzy. I'm gonna go to my Google Chrome um, apps that kind of have some similarity. And can you see down there at the bottom where there's two dots, like radial dots, radio dots? Actually, I have two pages in that one folder. So if you want to subdivide within a folder, there is a way. And let's just say I wanted to make a third page. I can click on click on sheets and, I'm, and I just have to click over here and do you see where now I have a third page with just sheets on it in that one folder. Does that make sense? Can you hear me? Yeah, I really like folders. If I didn't have folders, I would go nuts. I'm gonna stop it, stop it from wiggling. What do you think, any questions about that? Okay, well, next on my list is um, something that we listed but didn't get to last time, I don't think, and it's called Spotlight. And to get Spotlight, what you need to do is put your finger kind of in the middle of the screen somewhere and draw down, and you get Spotlight. And I did this, uh, tried this the other day, like if I put in chemistry, and you can set what you want it to search in, but notice it's searching websites, applications, you know, uh, email, stuff with chemistry in it. So that can be helpful if you're like, I have no idea where I put that. And, and things are openable from Spotlight. Any questions? So it's all your stuff on your iPad. I'll click cancel. 
And then while we're swiping, there's two other things. You may already know this, but if you swipe, if you hold your finger at the top and then swipe down, as some of you know, you get your notifications or get both. There's today is the calendar and notifications are notifications. And you can set what you want to be notified about. So if I click on today, that actually is the calendar. And that was swiping down. And then to make it go away, I swipe up. Any questions? So I'll, what? I'm sorry. No. Okay. So one, I don't want to talk over you. One last thing then, if you swipe from the bottom up, you get this kind of important sort of, I don't know what they call this. It's kind of a control tower of stuff for your iPad. And of course you see, I don't fly much, but if you fly much, I bet you want to click the little airplane thing. <laughs> the next two things you probably recognize, that's internet and Bluetooth. The, so internet, uh, if you want to turn off your internet, this is a way to do it, or your Bluetooth. The next one is, um, is supposed to be like a, a do not notify mode, kind of looks like the moon, but I still get notified of stuff, so I'm not sure. Okay. And then the last one is to, I think, lock your rotation. If you, if you rotate your iPad, it won't spin on you. And then over here, we have the brightness control. I bet you guys are okay with that. Okay. So how are we doing? Okay. So have you guys, um, let's see, how does this work? I'm going to do the Hey Siri thing. Have you guys done the Hey Siri thing? Okay. I think you hold down on the home button. Hey Siri. Tell me a joke. It doesn't like that. Oh. Tell me a joke. Okay, I can hear her talking, but you can't. So, you guys can see that though on your screen, right? Right. Okay. I can hit, uh, I can ask her something else. Hey Siri, what's the weather like? There you go. But actually, probably more to the point, hey Siri, open my email. Ta -da. So, it's okay? Okay. But not to be outdone, let's see if this works for me. Okay, so you should be seeing uh, my desktop, right? Oh, I can see you guys now. You are awake. <laughs> but so there is a new thing with, I don't know how new it is, but Google. So what you got to do is open uh, Google, um, Google search and you have to say, okay, Google, what's the weather like? Oh, try again. What's the weather like? Isn't that cool? Voila, it's like Siri. It's 56 degrees and mostly cloudy in Burlington. Thank you. Okay, so that was an iPad, but... So any questions? But can you hear me okay? Yeah. Good. So I know I'm, I'm zooming through my list, but the other thing is I thought to a um, uh, little bit about the apps. I already told you if you want an app, I would ask Safari, and then it will actually link into the store. But um, there is an, one of my apps, and I kind of don't look at it as much as I used to. It's under my daily. <laughs> So if I click daily, okay, there's an app that has the number five. It's called Apps Gone Free. And no, I don't first daily. 
But um, as the word implies, these are apps that usually cost a dollar, two dollars, sometimes more, and they're free for the day. So apps gone free. And especially when I was kind of new to my iPad, I would, I would diligently check this out every day, hoping for something really cool. And there usually was something really cool. Okay. It's, it's kind of not coming up, but you can see some of these are five bucks. They're like, dude. Okay. Any questions? So if you wanted that 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 scam scam scanner, excuse me, um, you could click on it and it would actually it's saying it's free for today. Do you want it? And you click free, it takes you to the sort. And you go from there. So it's apps gone free. And any questions? Okay. So did you put your daily app into that folder then? Yes, I pulled it into my daily. Whatever makes sense to you to remember where it is. Okay. And if you forget where it is, like I do occasionally, you can use this spotlight, like drag from the center down, and you say, please find my apps gone free, because I've lost it. And then actually a line of finding just that favorite app, there's something called Discover without the E, Discover Apps. <laughs> And this is good if you kind of, if you know something you sort of like, um, but you want something analogous. Okay, so we could go with um, apps, oops, apps gone free. Okay, and what that will do is it will say, based upon this app, I suggest these apps. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. But I've had troubles, if you do too, you know, you're a good company, but I've had troubles. Like if I want to go ahead and open or uh, take to, to, uh, to get the free app tracker, when I click on it, or you have to hold down your finger, when I click on it, it's supposed to show it to me in the app store, but it doesn't. It gets lost. So I can't explain that. <laughs> I know. It's still a good way to kind of find the different different apps that are like an app you like. Let me go ahead and so I can see you guys. Stop sharing my screen. Stop sharing. Okay. Whew. How about the basics? Oh good. Any other kind of basics? Because I know we didn't get to the um, kind of the whole poster sort of thing and do manipulating pictures. But the ones I listed on the an invitation, the montage, you saw me take a montage, light montage. I think it might cost just a little bit, but it's really good. And also the one I listed on the invitation, the Phoenix and the Foster. Spell with the P-H-O-S-T-E-R. Those are great to play around with. Okay. What's up next week? The next week, um, it's going to be uh, Google. Uh, can't remember what catchy thing we had, but it's the world of Google. I mean, there are so many different things off of Google including we've talked about the Google Drive, but of course there's, um, there's Google Plus, and um, I'm not sure if we're gonna include, like YouTube is actually kind of related once you have a Google account. Um, and Google Mail, Gmail. Um, and if the skies are clear, um, I will be outside looking at the sun uh, at this time. So it'll just be Bruce and somebody else at this end. Okay. Okay. You guys are pretty quiet over there. Because we're frozen, the friend. 
All right. Well, if you think of anything that you think I can be of assistance with, let me know. Otherwise, okay. you're welcome. Thanks for coming. Have, have a great weekend. Well, week. <laughs>